imagine for a second that you were to flee your country. And you have a very short time to take what you can and leave your home, your city, everything behind you. You could not find your diplomas. Or perhaps as you were traveling by sea, you've lost the documents. Now, you have arrived in a host country, but you cannot prove that you have those qualifications. How would you feel? What could you do? Can you tell us a little bit about your story and your experience? It's like everyone else's story. It begins in Syria. Before the war, I used to have a life. I used to have um, everything that I want. But uh, the war destroyed everything. So I have to leave. When I leave, I, I don't know where to go, actually. I go to Lebanon, I go to Jordan, and then Turkey. And uh, I think like there's something missing in my life. I don't have the opportunity of work, opportunity of, of living uh, in safe, like we want to say. Uh, that's why I decided to, to come to Greece. Even it's a dangerous trip by the sea, but I, I, could, I could really take this trip. We got the idea after talking to um, the Norwegian and the UK recognition centers who had developed um, a methodology for assessing non-documented refugee qualifications. And we discussed with them and thought that this could be useful at European level. The main benefits of uh, this uh, project in uh, practice is that um, uh, the methodology um, uh, of uh, this uh, project uh, will be applica applicable uh, to um, uh, all uh, European countries. This project was an opportunity to me. It was an opportunity because we study. We study a lot. And like everyone else, else who, who lost everything in this war. The document, he lost his learning. When I came here, I, I feel like I am lost. When someone asked me, what did you study? I, I want to tell him that I am graduated in, in a university, but I was, don't have the document that it need. So I feel like I am lost. Um, I feel like this is an, a very important paper that everyone educated should have it. The benefits of the project are that we can more quickly uh, allow people to get into the system. You know, refugees come to a new country and they get into kind of a paper mill that they feel sometimes they're never going to get out of. And we need some uh, simpler way to assess their qualifications, to assess the education that they've had, and to help them get into the higher education system of their new home countries and to be able to finish their education and, and position themselves to make a contribution to their new society. My name is Anwar Horani. I'm Palestinian-Syrian. I, I lived in Syria my whole life. I'm married. I study physical therapy, so I'm physiotherapist. We ran away. I have a little kids, so I'm worried a little bit. And there is no life after the war, so we decided we have to move on. Mm -hmm. We continue through Turkey until Greece. It has a lot of political support because uh, um, our member states uh, have uh, adopted uh, several action plans that this particular project fits in perfectly. One of them is uh, uh, action plan on building inclusive societies. But then we have an uh, action plan uh, uh, on, uh, uh, to, to support refugee children and this is one of the, of the uh, possibilities to help them too. We are the rule of law organization and uh, this is a, a kind of a application or implementation of a legal mechanism that we have. It's the article number seven of Lisbon Recognition Convention which obliges member states uh, uh, to treat uh, recognition of, of refugee qualifications. So we help them also to implement their obligations. And what was your experience of having your qualifications assessed? It was a testing uh, uh, by uh, qualification people who has a really good experience about the Syrian education system. Mm -hmm. So when we went there, it was there, uh, there was sorry, uh, mm -hmm. three people who has a good knowledge asking you specific questions 
writing the answers and making like uh, they are looking if it's true or not it was having there so they make sure if you had the qualifications the methodology is based on the assessment of available documentation which refugees might have with them in addition we conduct interview structured interview with the experienced credential evaluator one of the most challenging thing is to give the right information to the right stakeholders but also to the applicants um, in order not to create too high expectations of what the passport is. Often they'll have partial documentation so most of the cases that we've we have seen so far had something. They might have had a graduation statement but no transcript so it's kind of using um, our knowledge of the system of education of the country to ask questions about um, modules studied, about, um, about the university, checking the, the institutions accredited. It's kind of um, making up the details that you're missing through questions and then cross-checking that things make sense. Our hopes for the future is to, to see more refugees to participate in such projects to see a continuation, to see universities accepting uh, refugees, to see refugees to, to, to efficiently contribute in the host societies, and uh, all of us to see, including governments and Europe, to see that uh, refugees are a part of, the, of a solution and they have qualifications and skills. We need all to see this. I came here two months ago and uh, I registered in a camp. They asked me about uh, what I have learned, what uh, certification I have, and uh, I give them the, this certification and uh, they accept it luckily for me. The job center have asked me for this and uh, the school asked me for this and even the social who is responsible for, who is responsible for us they ask me also about it but this paper wake me up and tell me no you have a chance to prove yourself again and you have a chance for people to look at you as educated man and this is ex exactly what what it did it gave me power and people start to look at me differently and this this document really saved me here in in, in my most difficult time it saves me I'm attending a course, it's about international public health. It's uh, uh, collected the medical uh, department together, so we're nursing, physiotherapists, and uh, so many other. So it's, it's in English, so I get the benefit to go and attend it. And I feel pretty happy <laughs> that I had that opportunity. It's a big opportunity. Everyone was surprised as I have been here for five months I, I, and I get accepted in college. That was remarkable for me. It was like the document number one because uh, the course I got into that uh, course. I feel like I have a big appreciation for Greece, for their generosity. Even they are in some difficulty as us, but they opened their arms and hold us in that time, so I really, really would like to thank them. Imagine someone could assess your qualifications and you could now apply to a job in your relevant field or continue your studies. How would you feel now? Would it be different? Would not 